Now to talk more about eye safety is Dr. Ralph Chu. He is a leading expert on safely viewing solar eclipses. He's a former president at the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada. Thank you so much for being with us. So what is your advice to people who are anxious to look up at the sky on Monday afternoon? Well, uh, you know, the safest way to do it is to use a genuine uh, solar eclipse viewer uh, to look directly at the sun. Um, the supplies are getting pretty short, though, and uh, one of the complicating factors now is that we're seeing some uh, knockoff product being offered on the market that uh, may be a bit suspect, and uh, that's certainly a big concern. How do you know if you're buying one of those dupes or knockoffs or if you're buying something that really does offer the right protection? Well, it's all in the labeling. Uh, if it's a genuine uh, product that has been tested and um, uh, is known to be safe, uh, it, first of all, contains a message printed on the uh, device. This um, uh, product uh, conforms with or complies with the requirements of the ISO 12312-2 standard. You don't just see uh, the name or the number of the standard printed on the, um, uh, on the label by itself. Uh, secondly, um, a genuine viewer will have the name and address of the manufacturer. Uh, so some of the knockoffs are made in China, and that's what it says. There's no information about who actually made it. Uh, the third critical thing is that the identification of the laboratory that actually did the conformance testing and wrote the certification report that authorizes the use of the ISO and CE uh, logos on the product um, uh, should also appear in the printed material. If you don't have the names of those two organizations, the testing lab and the manufacturer, uh, it's almost surely a knockoff and um, should be considered suspect. Okay, okay. Uh, that's such great advice. Um, if you do look up without the glasses or if you're wearing improper glasses, would you know right away if your, your eyes are being damaged? Unfortunately not, because uh, the problem with uh, light-induced damage at the retina is that uh, although the um, result uh, on the uh, irradiated cells can be pretty quick, uh, they don't actually stop functioning normally for several hours after the event. And so you have the prospect of hurting your eyes without knowing it because you don't feel anything. Uh, you go about your business until you go to sleep and everything's fine. And it's while you're asleep that the uh, light-sensitive cells that have been damaged actually stop functioning. And so your first indication of trouble is when you open your eyes and waking the next morning and you realize you can't see your face in the bathroom mirror, you can't see the face of your nearest and dearest across the breakfast table. Uh, and for many of our uh, younger folk especially, uh, they can't see their cell phone display hmm. because it's all lost in this little island of blur in the middle of their visual field. And that's when they realize that uh, something has gone terribly wrong. Well, you've um, painted a very scary picture for us. I think it's very effective. Um, and do your eyes heal, doctor? Well, it depends on how badly uh, damaged your eyes are. Uh, if the only thing you've done is induce this photochemical type of damage, you've got about a 50% chance of recovering all of your uh, vision, uh, but it takes a long time for that to happen. Uh, for the others, uh, the unfortunate thing is that if they've looked for longer than uh, just a, a couple of minutes uh, in total, uh, there's the potential for the light to also be absorbed by the uh, pigmented lining behind the retina, uh, a structure called the pigmented epithelium. Now, if that e light energy gets into the uh, melanin granules of the epithelium, uh, then that can cause local heating because the energy gets absorbed by the melanin and 
uh, instead of being carried off in the bloodstream, that heat builds up to the point where it can literally boil the uh, pigmented epithelium cell uh, from the inside out. And uh, if that happens, then you end up with a permanent loss of vision in that area because uh, that will kill the overlying photoreceptor cells. Oof, okay, uh, so the moral so of the don't story want that is, to yeah, yeah, get the right glasses. Dr. Chu, thank you so much. Dr. Rob Chu is a leading expert on safely viewing solar eclipses. Thanks again for all of this this morning. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Auto